morning everybody we're in the other vehicle today diesel is going to see the vet and we had this car detailed about a month ago or so or a few weeks ago well, that was a short green light that was not fair what was I saying yeah we got this car detailed a couple of weeks ago so we don't want to have the dogs in here right away to get it all full of dog hair again right so diesel's got to go to the vet today and uh, Britt's gonna take him in the pickup because the pickup wasn't detailed it's, it's not that dirty but it's dirtier than this vehicle so we're gonna try to keep this one clean and move diesel in that one he's just got some uh, a little bit of a lip or a little bit of an infection in his lip that's not going away and we took him to the vet once a while ago for it already and they gave us some medication for it uh, some kind of like antibiotic cream to rub on it and it, that helped but it do, didn't seem to completely get rid of it so we think he might need some kind of antibiotic for it we're not sure but it's uh, been getting worse again Britt's been keeping a very close eye on it uh, he's fine don't worry it's not like a life-threatening situation or anything but it's something that we'd like to get taken care of so she's gonna take him to the vet today in the pickup and uh, get it looked at maybe get a new prescription for him or something oh man that was a short green light again is it always that short but yeah, we're off on our way to work. We don't have a, an assignment for first thing this morning yet, but I'm sure by the time we get there, uh, something will be in the works. They probably have something planned for us from yesterday already. They just haven't sent it through to us. They're just waiting for the morning to come around. So I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I do know we're going trucking. Right where we left them. Time to get into my parking spot. Go start up. Old Betsy. That's her right there. Isn't she, she, isn't she beautiful? Don't answer that. <laughs> She's old, but she does the job. She does it well. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Besides, old school trucks are better. What? I'm talking here. Oh, the wife sent me a picture of Chevy. Want to see the picture she just sent me? There he is. <laughs> There's Diesel in the background. She sent that to me just now. What did she say? He won't stop staring at her. <laughs> oh, he wants breakfast. Uh, but it's not breakfast time for them yet. <laughs> they eat at specific times every day. And Chevy knows when it's getting close. And he'll just come and sit down in front of you and just stare at you. The whole time until until the time gets there <laughs> he gets so excited <laughs> all right all right all right i'm ready i'm ready let's get to work well, let's take the keys with us thanks for reminding us you fancy vehicle oh look we hit ninety thousand kilometers on this vehicle today Ooh, my pickup i'm at uh i'm just about at 103,000 kilometers already It'll go a while yet. I could probably get 400,000 out of her. Yeah, she didn't want to wake up again. Well, she started just fine, but I'm not too happy about it. <laughs> ah. That's okay. We're going to work whether she wants to or not. Let's round it up to that because we'll hit that today. 39, 517 divided by how many hours in a day? 24. This thing has been running for 1,646 and a half days since it was born, since it rolled off the assembly line. How many years is that? 
let's say 24 times uh, 365 and a quarter. So there's 8,766 hours in a year. So 39,517 divided by 8,700. This thing has been running for four and a half years. Right? No. That's very wrong. I gotta do that the other way. <laughs> 1,000, uh, oh, now I lost my train of thought. It's too early. So much mathing. 39,517 divided by 24. 1,646 uh, days. Yeah, 1,646 days. And you divide that by 365 and a quarter. What was I think? Yeah, four and a half years. I shouldn't have doubted myself. Did I do that right? I'm not a mathematician. I'm a truck driver. Four and a half years this truck has been, this engine has been firing. Not straight, obviously. I turned it off for night, but wow. Okay, we have a mission. There's the poles that I trained with a couple months ago. We have a 53 foot flatbed here. We're gonna pull it down to Morden and drop it there. There's a loaded flatbed waiting for me. I gotta tie it down and bring it back here. The tires are filled with air. The best kind of tires. All right. Everything working back here? Fantastical. Mud flaps in place. Air in the tires. Pressurized air, much better than just standard air. So we're ready to go. No air leaks from what I can hear. So this is one of those loads that uh, are sometimes a little bit interesting. <laughs> we'll see how well it was loaded. Uh, a couple of times we've had to rework it a little bit or get it reworked. Uh, I'm sure it's gotten better. Let's have faith. It's about a two hour drive down to Morton. Just gonna make sure this trailer's not gonna fall off on me. That would be embarrassing. You know, it's attached right on. raining in Morden, but if it is, we're gonna get a little wet. Good thing water doesn't kill you. What is going on up here? Everybody's blocking this whole area. seem to be parked there for like an hour or so I'm not sure why but eh, if, they, if it was an issue there's people that would deal with it I can get in and out so it doesn't bother me
This is such a nice town. This is Morton. Very well kept. People take pride in their yards and in their town. Very much like Steinbach. You know, it's, it's, this is Yonsei. It's the same culture, same people, same heritage as us from Steinbach. For the most part. I mean, if you go far enough back, but it's a very well kept town. Look how, look at these trees. I wonder how old they are. I love that house on the left. It's like a castle. Still well maintained. Every street is nice. Every house looks nice. You know, if I ever had to move to Morton for work or something, yeah, I wouldn't complain. Nothing to complain about, really. I don't know any of you from Morton. You guys like it here? Is there anything to complain about? Let me know in the comments. It's just down the road from Winkler. So there's a Walmart there. I mean, you got a Walmart, what else do you need, right? Winkler's very nice too. I'd never complain about living in Winkler. I'd say Steinbach, Winkler, and Morton are my favorite towns and cities in Manitoba. I'm a little biased though, just to let you know, I'm a little biased. name's Geesbrook, so of course I'm going to say Steinbeck and Winkler are my favorite cities. Obviously. You Manitobans, you get it. Alright, now somewhere around here I need to turn. Is it here? I think it's here. There's always construction or something going on at this corner right here. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. What are you, watering the trees? Not at all. Well, that's not what he's doing at all. All right, there we go. Make my way down this little street here. Make sure I don't hit anything. And our trailer's gonna be down there. We'll see what we're dealing with in a second. Sometimes these loads are nightmares to tie down. Other times, super simple. This is one of our trailers right here on the road. I don't know if that's one of the ones I'm taking. That one's what, 544? I don't think that's a trailer number. I'll have to look, I have it written down which trailer I'm taking. Okay, so I put the empty over here. And one of these I'm taking. All right. I'm gonna put you in right there, right in that mud hole. Which is part of this bigger mud hole that is the parking lot. Wow, hope I don't get stuck. This is why our trucks are always dirty. <laughs> now you understand. All right. It's not just this parking lot, there's lots of parking lots. And as soon as it rains, everything turns to mud, right? And we're very happy and thankful for the rain, so we're not gonna complain. Just make sure I'm going in the right direction there. These big stacks beside me, they make me have to lean all the way out. There we go. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. But we made it. Oh, it just looks close. Objects are closer than they appear. Objects are not as close as they appear. That's the right saying. Okay, it's just the angle we were at made it look a lot closer. Throw you right in there. Come on. Come on. Right in beside your brother there. There you go. There you go. Everybody gets to play in the mud today. Woohoo! I'm gonna put you just as far back as the other one. All right. Okay. There's a 
enough room beside me there for another one. Good, so I didn't take up two spots. Take a look. Why is my signal still on? I'm supposed to pick up 544, it's going to Blair, Nebraska. 544, let's go take a look, shall we? Don't forget the truck and hat. Very important image. Can't be a trucker without the hat. Right? Okay. There you go. Lovely. Lovely. All right, let's not go in the puddles. Only trailer 544. 544. Was that 544? No, that wasn't. One of these is going to be ours. We're going to go silly me. Short term memory. The trailer on the street here, that is 544. That's the one we're taking. This was fun. This was. This was fun. Um, definitely got the blood pumping. Got me sweating a bit. This was fun. It actually wasn't too bad. The weather was perfect. It wasn't raining. Uh, I was drizzling for a little bit, uh, but it wasn't raining and it wasn't very hot. It was the perfect temperature. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't ask for a better situation to be tying down a load like this in weather-wise. So the weather was great. And it was a bit of a challenge, so uh, I was very proud how it turned out. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. These tires make me nervous. Tires always make me nervous, especially since they're like sinking into this box. What can I do, right? You got all these crates at the back here. These back here, it's, it's, it's a mess. Mess of a load, but we got it done. And you got that over there, this here, that here, these tied down here, these tied down here, those tires in there, I managed to get tied down. The strap pinning them down, so they're good. And then just a gazillion straps over here. So, we're in Morden right now. I'm going to go to that co-op gas station, uh, sort of halfway between Morden and Winkler. I'm going to pull in there and uh, check the straps, check the load, make sure nothing's shifted. Uh, I, I don't have anything else to say about it. <laughs> I think that speaks for itself. We got her done though, we got her done. I always like this key <laughs> for the terrain. I'm always, a... if it actually works right. I can't get it right every time. I gotta practice. Wanna ride in the terrain? Seriously, like a spaceship. I want air conditioning. What does this do? Oh, it turns on the music. Okay. Air conditioning, low. It like says temperature. And that messes with me. Why does it say temperature? Why can't it just like give me cold to hot? I don't know what temperature I want to be. Don't tell me how to live my life, terrain. Such a different vehicle. I was gonna say weird, but it's not weird. It's just different. Believe it or not, 
This is my first time ever watching Star Trek of any kind. We're on the second movie, and I think I'm hooked. I love it. I'm gonna learn how to speak uh, Klingon. That's the word, right? Klingon? You better not. <laughs> So old Diesel went to go see the doctor today. Well, I was telling him all about it this morning, man. You want to give him the update? I'm old. I'm old, I'm, I'm sick. Quibble. <coughs> give me tweets. That's the only cure, doctor said. You weren't there. Pizza, right? He said pizza. And popcorn. You know what Doctor prescribed. You weren't there. He said that. Hey, Mom. I was there. His breath smells so good now. <laughs> so uh it was a little bit of a concerning visit maybe just for me Britt doesn't seem too concerned because uh, she knows more about the stuff than me but uh first of all we'll talk about his lip uh he does have some kind of infection in his lip right yeah and he's got dermatitis some sort of skin condition they're not really sure what's causing it so we'll just make sure that we keep their bowls clean and, yeah. Uh, which we so always a little have bit of, been pretty good about it. Is it on this side? Uh, nope, that's the side with his lump. He's got a lump. And the vet didn't wasn't worried oh. about the lump in there? Or is oh, it gone it, now? It's all of a sudden gone, I guess, because we've been playing with his lump all day. Good boy, DJ. No, the vet wasn't, that's why wasn't concerned. There was no C word mentioned. What C so word? That's what oh, I was scared of. Cancer, we thought it. Mm. I thought for sure it was something like jaw cancer or something, but nope, he's good. The other side, though, had the. Uh, the infection. The infection? Bottom, bottom so on this side, the bottom lip in here. Don't touch it too much, I just cleaned it. Okay, you won't be able to see it anyways. You sort of got to dig for it. It's in one of the folds. It's in there and it was getting infected. So uh, we had some Viaderm, right, for a while. Yeah, like some cortisone cream. Cortisone cream, and that wasn't doing anything. And so uh, we were getting concerned and Britt really wanted to bring him in to the vet. And, uh, and so now we've got like an antiseptic wash that I put onto these cotton pads and gently rub his gums and teeth down with. Okay, so that's like a mouthwash sort of? Yeah, and then Oral there's, rinse. there's a medical soap that we used to use for his ingrown hair on his paw that we still had left over from a couple of years ago. So we're using that to just wipe down his muzzle and just clean it once a day. Okay. Uh, with warm water and soap. And then he's got yeah. a couple of pills for a little while. So the concerning part uh, was that he's developed a little bit of a heart murmur. A stage three heart murmur. Yeah. Which sounds scary. And uh, there's up to six stages. So he's in the middle stage already. And he's being fed grain-free food. Which we thought was optimal. Yeah, because he has had problems with grains in food in the past. So we just put them both on the same food, which he may have grown out of already. We're going to try maybe experimenting a little bit, seeing if he's slowly. grown out of it very slowly. We're not going to make he him would, sick intentionally. Well, the worst that would happen is he'd get the, the squirts. Well, and a rash. Remember he'd get And a rash, grains. that's right. Chicken caused him to have the runs, and it was grains that made him itchy and had an undercarriage rash. That's right. So we'll see how... How, how we might do like some minor tests to see if his allergies are still there or not. He may have grown out of them. We'll do some, we'll do some tests. But Diesel, however, needs to go back onto regular grain food because the vet thinks... Uh, it could be it, related to having a grain-free diet. That, he needs his grains. Yeah. I mean, dogs who are already susceptible to a heart murmur or heart disease, you know, will develop it if they're not on grain diets. I don't know. He explained it to me. So it does freak me out a little bit. He's had, uh, he's just about 10 years old. Uh, by the time you watch this video, he will already have turned 10 years old. And I've had him since, yeah, I've had him since he was uh, 10, weeks old. 10 weeks old. And he's been with me almost every day up until this last year when he stays home with his family now and he's enjoying his retired life. But uh, as he's getting older, this is the first check engine light that's come on for him. Pretty good track record there, buddy. It's the first, uh, the first major, more of a major health issue. He's had a few like uh, rashes and like uh, ingrown hairs and minor things that he's needed uh, attention for, but this is the first. Uh... Oh no, he had kennel cough once. Oh, and he had kennel cough. That's right. Yeah. That's before I met you. 
but that's curable. This is to do with his heart. Yeah, so we Which want to make sure really worries me. Necessary precautions so that it doesn't get any worse, and maybe we can help him out. Maybe we can even fix it. At best, we'll fix it. At the worst, we'll keep it from getting any worse. And now that I know that, we have to switch the littles to food with grain in it because Wiener's mm -hmm. got uh, heart disease, stage four. No, stage four gum disease. Pardon me, but he's got heart disease as well. So, so our old guys are having heart problems. Yeah. And we got the commander here. He's just a tank. <laughs> I don't know. He coughs quite a bit. He might have heart disease too. It's pretty common in little dogs. I've seen oh, things dogs. you guys could never imagine. It's in the Great Milk Bone War. <laughs> I was also in Vietnam. I was a sniffer dog. I could sniff him out a mile away. The vet did compliment you though, Diesel said you looked very young. You're looking very good. Very dapper. Very good for your age. Thank you, thank you. I do my hair every morning, thank you. <laughs> so that was the report on, on Diesel's vet visit. I wanted to make sure to update you on that before we went to bed. And uh, guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and the thumbs up. Anything else you wanna add? Thanks for watching my husband do his thine. We'll see you tomorrow.